Will the PlayStation 5 reveal event be in February? That is still the million dollar question. But now we got another interesting bit of news that shows that Sony is preparing for an event. Plus we learned that more developers are working on PS5 games than Xbox Series X games and we got some new teases for upcoming PS5 games as well. So a like on the video would be really appreciated and let's go. First up, a quick reminder that there is still time to enter my giveaway for a 2020 game of your choice on your platform of choice. All you need to do is follow the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win and be sure you are a subscriber of the channel before you enter. I will reach out to the winner via an email on February 1st. And yes, February is that when we finally see the PlayStation 5. I made a video recently compiling all the rumors and news stories that point to a late February reveal because early and mid is out of the question at this point. There was always that rumor that it would happen on February 5th, but then we would have known at this point. Like you cannot ask people to travel to New York to be in the audience of such a review event when the event is less than a week away. For comparison, the PS4 review event was announced on February 1st and then it happened on February 20th, so 19 days later. And that's a realistic time frame that we should also expect here, meaning that we will either hear this week or next week if there will be an event in February. Again, it's not 100% confirmed. Although it's totally likely, Sony now filed a trademark for the PlayStation 5 at the Swish Federal Institute for Intellectual Property. Like they filed this on January 27th under Class 9, a category that is for game consoles. The trademark has a priority date of October 1st, 2019, before the PS5 was officially announced, but now they filed it again and what the priority date means is that they then already had protection starting October 3rd, 2019. It's an interesting timing and Sony and other gaming companies do this all the time. File a trademark right before a big event. Like in June 2017 we had trademarks for Team Bravo, Frantix, The Impatient, Knowledge is Power and also the Shadow of the Colossus remake that were then all shortly announced a little later during the E3 Sony press conference. So that Sony is now filing a PS5 trademark could totally mean that the reveal event is near. We already discussed in a previous video that Sony will not be doing their yearly destination PlayStation event for retailers. No, instead a major distributor will host the show because Sony likely has something else planned around that end of February time. Because that is when the destination PlayStation event is normally held and this is where Sony talks to Amazon and GameStop for example and tells them about the rest of the year. So you would think that it would be great if the PlayStation 5 info was already out there before you went into that event. Plus we also have GDC, the Game Developers Conference on March 18th where Sony likely wants to talk a lot about the PlayStation 5 as well with developers. So if they did not do a big event before that then there is a high chance that we get a lot of leaked information out of that conference. Really the end of February or early March makes the most sense. but we will have to wait and see. And speaking of the Game Developers Conference, every year they ask the attendees some questions via a survey, including the platforms that they're making their games on right now. 11% says PlayStation 5 at the moment, while Xbox Scarlet has 9%. Meaning that we should expect more PlayStation 5 games around launch, not weird because that platform will likely sell more than the Series X, so developers putting their resources there makes more sense, or maybe Sony might be striking more deals, that's also possible of course. And in the survey they also ask about the next project, and then the PS5 goes from 11% to 23%, so that is pretty big. Xbox Scarlet or Series X goes from 9 to 17. While the PS4 is not 25 anymore but 20% and the Xbox One goes from 23 to 20% as well. Meaning that more people are dropping the PS4 than the Xbox One. And that might have to do with the fact that Microsoft will not have any Series X or Scarlet exclusives 
for the first one to two years, meaning that those games will also be on the Xbox One. And one of the big PS5 exclusives will be from Blue Point, the rumored Demon's Souls remake. And they want to divine the visual benchmark of the next generation with that title. And it will be really cool to see what they can do with a game that will very likely only be made for the PlayStation 5. Like we know that they are capable of making really good looking games looking at the Shadow of the Colossus remake so this should be a step up from that. Can't wait. And one of the most fun PS4 launch games that you might remember was Resogun. It was actually a PS Plus title as well and now Housemark, the developer of that game says that they put their previous title on hold to work on another game and that it is in collaboration with a publishing partner that will reveal it in the coming months with a launch coming after that. Resogun was also Sony published so it could totally be that they are doing a similar thing this time around and it would be very smart because Resogun was a big hit. When we know more about the PlayStation 5, the reveal, anything else, I will let you know here on the channel. So totally subscribe for everything on the new console and the new games. Like this video to support the channel. And if you want to hear more reasons why a PlayStation 5 reveal event in February makes a lot of sense, then totally check out my previous video by clicking on the screen. For now, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.